Greetings from Stradock. This is Just Swant and I am back with the next video from the team Famous Scientist of Modern World. This video is about a well-known scientist who is called the father of modern chemistry for his revolutionary discoveries. He laid down a foundation for modern science and gave a base for chemistry. He is none other than Antony Lavoisier. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and request you all to watch till the end. For now, without any further ado, let's get started and dive into the documentary of Antony Lavoisier. Lavoisier was born on 26th August 1743 in Paris, France. He who was to create history was born to Jean Antony Lavoisier and Emily Pontus. His father Jean was a lawyer in the Parliament of Paris and his mother was working in a butchery business. He began his education in the Desquatre Nations University of Paris where he studied general subjects. It was here where an interest towards science had lit in his mind. After his graduation, he was very much fascinated and interested towards science and wanted to pursue it as his profession. But his father denied it saying science was not to be taken as a serious profession. With no other choice, Lavoisier studied law to go in the path of his father. Two years later, he was offered the job at the Parliament of Paris as a lawyer. But this time, rather than practicing law, he decided to pursue with science and researches. In the year 1768, he got entry to France's foremost natural philosophy society, the Academy of Science in Paris. This was from where he started his journey to become a revolutionary scientist. Lavoisier believed that matter was neither created nor destroyed, but it was initially difficult to prove. He started collecting and weighing all the substances he used for reactions. Antony's sufficient wealth enabled him to use expensive apparatus and his idea and the ability to understand helped them come up with the most famous law, the law of conservation of mass. This law, also named the Lavoisier's law, has helped the scientists understand more about chemical reactions and combinations. Lavoisier and the other group of scientists had created a giant combustion machine which magnified the sun rays with the help of powerful lenses and burnt anything which was kept at focus. Using this apparatus, he did further experiments with charcoal and diamond and burnt both of them. He studied and found out that both produced the same kind of gas when burnt. He then understood that both of them were made up of the same kind of element. He gave this element the name carbon. Eventually, Antony Lavoisier correctly identified sulfur as an element. He observed that sulfur could not be divided further or broken down into simpler form. Hence, he classified them under the category of elements. Lavoisier also disproved the phlogiston theory. The phlogiston theory was a superseded scientific theory that postulated the existence of fire-like element called phlogiston. It was believed that the phlogiston were contained in the combustible bodies and released during combustion. On further experiments, this theory was disproved and ultimately led to the discovery of the combustive property of oxygen. In the year 1774, Joseph Priestley visited Paris and told Antony about his experiment. He said, when mercury and oxide O was calcinized, a gas was released which was more combustive in nature. Joseph Priestley coined the term deflogisticated air. However, Lavoisier was not convinced with this as he had disproved the phlogiston theory. In the year 1779, he gave the term oxygen for the released gas. He also stated combustion takes place only through the presence of oxygen. Lavoisier also told that oxygen was an integral part of respiration. Though Joseph Priestley was the one who discovered the gas oxygen, the uses of it was given by Antony Lavoisier. The relationship between combustion and oxygen was one of the greatest discovery of this scientist. Henry Cavendish had discovered an element and named it the inflammable air. Lavoisier experimented oxygen and the element discovered by him and was surprised to find water to be the resultant. He then understood that water was not an element and this was a drastic change in concept as people believed water to be one of the major elements on earth. This was the reason why he named the gas discovered by Henry as hydrogen as hydrogen in Greek means water former. To summarize, he came up with the law of conservation of mass, he discovered the element carbon, he classified sulfur under the category of elements, he disproved the phlogiston theory, he named the elements oxygen and hydrogen, he concluded water as a non-element, he gave the importance of oxygen in combustion and respiration. 
These were some of the major scientific ideas which caused a revolution in the field of chemistry. Anthony's wife Mary Anna, being a skilled artist and a well-educated woman, helped him with his researches. She maintained records and also translated documents. She also made accurate drawings of the apparatus which he used and stood as a backbone for his success. By that time, French Revolution had started in France and the rich people were in trouble. In the year 1794, the voiceur was imprisoned as he wanted to help the foreign scientists and work for them. The revolutionaries also blamed that he used the money of scientific researchers to help the enemy of France. Because of all these accusers, he was sentenced to death and executed on 8th May 1794 in Paris at the age of 50. The irony of the story is by the end of 1795 on further investigation it was proved that Antoine Lavoisier was innocent but it was too late the life of a brilliant scientist was taken away in his lifetime he was awarded a gold medal by the king of france and was elected as the member of the american philosophical society his most famous book was the elements of chemistry which is written both in french and english in honor of this great scientist The Lavoisier Medal is given for people for their creative contribution in science and they are internationally acknowledged. This was a few facts on the great scientist. Hope you liked this video and found it interesting. Please do subscribe to my channel and like, share, comment on my videos. We'll be soon back with my next video from the team Famous Scientists of Modern World. Until then, thank you.